December 23rd, it's assembly day, almost there. Hopefully I can get it all set up today, we'll see. So I just checked the levelness of the frets with the fret rocker. You lay that across three and then see if there's any rocking in between and then it'll tell you a high spot. I only have a few high spots here, here, and here. That's a pretty good fret job all around. So I'm gonna have to um, file those down slightly and then check them again. Yeah, it's December 24th. I have maybe two hours to work on this today. It's pretty much ready to go, other than the frets being crowned and polished and the electronics being connected and the nut being finished. I'm gonna try to do the nut really quick before I have to leave for a family function. Um, if the nut's done, then I can at least put the strings on and it will be presentable. And here's the current state as of yesterday. You know, I have this white tusk nut, but I think I want to do black instead. And I can make that out of rich light. So I'm going to use this as kind of a template. So I rough cut this out with my bandsaw. And then this is um, about 3 16th wide. This is like a quarter. So I need to take some off with my sander. The way I do that is I attach it to one of these uh, one, two, three blocks and then hit it with the sander like that on the belt sander. So I'll use this as a steady and then take that little bit of mount off there with the belt sander. Okay, now it's the same here as far as thickness goes. Well, next I'm sizing the ends and those will be sanded off right there. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this rough fit. Now I'm just going to clean it up a bit and then get the correct radius. To get the radius, I use this half um, sanded pencil that's on a block. When you put this on the frets and then run it back and forth, it'll give you the radius right on the fretboard itself. And that'll put that line right at the top of where the radius needs to be. And then you don't sand it quite all the way down to that to leave a little bit of height. So then you have some space to cut your grooves so it's shaped and fitted and sanded with the 120. I'll do more sanding on it and get it polished up. 
and then I will put the string guides in it. So for string spacing, you start at an eighth on either edge and then using this string spacing rule from Stumac, be able to easily figure out the other spacing. Those guys lined up right there, I can mark the other spots. And there we have it, equally spaced. So I start the edge with the uh, triangle file, which is just a little diamond triangle file, to get that marked in there. And then use the actual base nut file to finish it out. Now this initial step, I don't want to go too deep. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion this nut's a little too short. That's okay, it'll work for setup. For present, I may have to remake it. So a couple dabs of super glue when it's in place. Time for some strings. All right, there we go. It uh, looks like a bass guitar. I still have to put the headstock logo in. That's the very last thing. Oh, and then the knob there. So it's Christmas morning. It's about uh, 7.30. Waiting for my in-laws to show up for breakfast and my adult children to wake up. So um, the base is assembled and it's done other than the fret job and um, just the playability action setup. So, and I have one last final piece to add to it and I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to throw it in a bag and hide it in my living room. Uh, to surprise my wife with it. So that's the plan. She's getting an amp first. She's going to open that up and be like, why do I have an amp? And I'm going to be like, hey, maybe you should look over there. I'm pulling the Christmas story. There's a rifle behind the uh, behind the credenza or whatever it is. The old man hides the, uh, the, the Red Rider BB gun. So we'll see if it works out. I'm hoping it will. I think she'll be pretty excited and surprised. I think she thinks I've been up to something because I've been kind of vague about keeping her out of my shop and stuff, but uh, I don't know if she knows I actually built her a full guitar. So anyway, uh, I'm excited. Christmas morning. Here we go. So the final piece is my uh, little EMJ signature logo. This is a 3D print that I paint and then fill with uh, UV resin, colored UV resin. I just went with black and gold because it uh, fits the theme of this guitar the most. So anyway, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. This is just a little bit of stick tack that I use, so. Let's see, is that even? All right, I have to put the camera down to do this, so. Let me get it correct. Okay, here it is. There's my little custom 3D printed uh, inset volume knob. I like the inset. I think it looks cool to have that as a style. And here's the rest of it. Okay, here's how it's uh, going to be presented inside a, 
inside a bag. Because if I just wrap it, it's, you know, you don't know what it is. So there we go. If you made it all the way through episode seven, which you're at the end of now, thank you so much. It was really fun to put this together and um, show everybody how I made this guitar. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I felt like my skills finally have gotten to a point where on my uh, four and a half, almost fifth guitar, um, I was ready to kind of uh, deal with that. Um, not an easy task though. I, I had over 400 videos to edit together. So uh, there, there's a bit of work that goes into this stuff. So. Thank you so much um, if you've watched all this way through. I really appreciate it. I just thought it'd be a good way to end this by recapping what happened Christmas morning. I did not purposely record um, her opening the gift because I just wanted to live in the moment with my family and have that be a private thing. She was completely blown away though. Um, she even did what she calls ugly crying, uh, which is like, you know, <laughs> you're crying pretty hard. Um, because she was just so overwhelmed by the emotion of it all. And it was a very tender, wonderful moment and uh, something I'll cherish forever. She did decide that she wanted to share what happened on Facebook. And so she wrote up a little thing and I just thought I'd read that because it's probably better to hear it in her words than mine. This is what she had to say. Most of you know my talented hubby of Corgi Creations. His latest hobby is building guitars. Not long ago, I jokingly said, he needed to make me a hot pink bass guitar. I've been wanting to learn to play one ever since my youngest started playing. That's our, our youngest daughter, who's now in her 20s. Little did I know he spent a few weeks before Christmas making me my own bass guitar. How did I not know he was doing this? Christmas morning, he slid a big box over to me and said it was a present for me. The present ended up being an amp. I was thinking like, what am I gonna do with an amp? I was totally confused. Then he pulled the old man trick on me. You know, the scene where he tells Ralphie to go look behind the desk when he hid Ralphie's Red Ryder BB gun in a Christmas story. I was told to go over the corner of our bookcase where I pulled out a guitar case. I still did not know what was coming. I figured he purchased me a bass guitar. When I exited the guitar and saw his EMJ guitar logo, I fell apart. I seriously had an ugly cry moment. He had made me my own pink bass guitar. After I ugly cried for some time, he told me how he made it out of my rocking chair. The rocking chair he got for me when our eldest was born. The rocking chair I rocked and nursed both babies in. The rocking chair I finally had to get rid of this year because it was broken down and needed to be put to rest. The ugly cry continued. <laughs> and just to add, I ugly cried with her. <laughs> we, we had a moment and then my in-laws and my children were just sitting there looking at the two of us blubbering. <laughs> um, she finishes with, I love this hot pink 80s flavor bass. It is such a special gift. Now I need to learn to play it. <laughs> the thing is she has been learning. Uh, she's using the Musician app, a good place to start. Um, she's doing great too. She's having a lot of fun and everything worked out really well. So. Thanks again, and I hope uh, I hope you liked it. I'm definitely not a bass player, barely a guitar player, but I figured most people would want to know how this sounds. I always get questions about my guitars when I post them about how they sound. So I want to play you a quick little bass line that I learned just for this video. Please bear with me. Mm -hmm. 